Funny, isn't it, when you are two of the world's most famous people, raking in a lot of headlines that you claim to hate, don't like the sound of clicking cameras, but more importantly, seemingly want to attract all the media attention that you can possibly grab. Let's not forget, of course, Prince Harry last year popped up in a video juggling. That's right, remember? For Meghan Markle's 40th birthday, it was juggling at the door. Then, prior to the trip, of course, for the Invictus Games in Amsterdam, he decided to dress up in orange, but we're not quite sure exactly what the message was behind that. What we were told, of course, is that Prince Harry was showing his fun side so that the media might back off him a little bit. Seemingly, though, we haven't seen the last of Harry's fun side. Let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to see you today. That building behind me, by the way, is St Pancras. I'm just filming out in this area at the moment. Beautiful terracotta building, uh, absolutely fabulous. Been up years, you know, and it been many things used for many different uh, events as well, filming, possibly for a younger generation, most famously for the very first Spice Girls video, Wannabe. They could only film in the foyer because the rest of it wasn't fit, apparently. It was a little unsafe at that time. That's over 25 years ago. I know, let that sink in. The Spice Girls, over 25 years ago. Where has that time gone? Back as ever, though, to your breaking roll story of the day. This really all centres upon the fact that Megan, as you know, has now got that podcast finally up and running with a team of 28 people. Maybe somebody placed the mic and the rest were just stirring the coffee. Or maybe they're all busy bowing down, saying how marvellous she was. Let's not forget, you know, this was a woman who really could interview herself and be unhappy with it, you know. It's frightening when you think. I don't know why Serena bothered turning up. Maybe she was there just to wash the cups after the drinks. Who knows? Strange podcast, in my opinion. What's interesting, though, is you will recall that Harry just popped up, you know, absentmindedly during this particular podcast. And as I told you before, nothing is under-rehearsed. Every single spit and cough throughout that conversation was truly rehearsed. Everybody knew what their part was. Everybody knew what they were doing. That's why there's 28 people. So when Prince Harry popped in to say hello, just casually, to Serena Williams, that was planned. Perhaps not the words he was saying, but he was definitely going to pop in. So can we expect more? Well, if you're a fan, yes. Simply because now they've decided at Spotify, and long before this in fact, that they think it's a really good idea for Prince Harry to pop up and support his wife during her latest venture, over 12 episodes. So of course what it is, is a recurring theme, isn't it? We're not quite sure when he's going to pop up next, but when he does, it grabs headlines. As I've said to you before, a lot of people are very dismissive over the power of Harry and Meghan. I'm, you know, indifferent really. You know, what I kind of think is it's wrong that they're using their royal associations, but what can you do? It's nothing up to you and me. But what's interesting is you have to admire the fact that they really do rinse out every single morsel of that connection and her in particular, because after all, really, without Prince Harry, who truly would have given her a podcast if she was still Meghan Markle? you know, of Suits fame. I mean, let that sink in. So while Prince Harry might be applauding his wife's latest work, and they are a unit, yes, I understand all of that, but truly, Meghan was schlepping around for a long time, and now finally she's hit the jackpot. But in order to keep the jackpot, what she needs is Prince Harry making reoccurring appearances on her podcast. And as ever, he will be doing that. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.